Hello and welcome to BW London podcast. Now, I've said in previous video how enthusiastic I was about Meghan being a biracial woman entering the royal family. It was going to be trendy, it was going to be nice, even though I'm not a supporter of that whole institution. It is what it is, it is here, and it would have been nice to have a biracial woman fighting for some of black people's rights in some way, shape or form. And that's the impression we got, but as we know, she's a floozy. Her aim was just to bag a prince, head back to LA and live her best celebrity reality lifestyle. So that's who she is. She's a blatant narcissist and she's got him trapped and so on. I've said all of this in a previous video, but what's really got me this time is I can tell that she had assistance in bagging Harry between the networks of friendships that she made and everything that she'd done. And the red flags were there, the no family and so on. But I didn't see for it. I actually didn't see any red flags until the Oprah Win Winfrey in interview. Since that interview, I was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. As someone with a lot of narcissistic experience, I was like, I know what I'm looking at here. But she had so much assistance through that. And it went smoothly up until that point. So have they left her? her are they no longer assisting her? Because, I mean, the letter that she wrote to American government, the grammar, all of it is terrible. Why is why somebody not overseeing that? Is she no longer connected? Was this the point they wanted to get her up to and now they're just leaving her to it? Because to be fair, most of the people that run this society are narcissists, psychopaths, sociopaths. She fits in perfectly. After the Oprah interview, I was like, this woman is going for president. I can see it. I can just see it in her. That's where she sees herself. However, she's going into politics. So I guess she intends to climb the ladder. But it's not being done effectively. Why is there a bad edited letter? Why is there so many lies in the letter? She talks of the poverty that she doesn't have. I guess she could say, oh, I was just telling somebody else's story to get my point across. I'm assuming that's the lie she's going to pull. But there's a bundle of lies in there. As we know, Meghan Markle went to a private school, 16K, $16,000 um, a year. Her father won the lottery he was a, a light engineer of some sort for Hollywood stars you know they they were an okay family and she was well looked after but this isn't the first time we continually see her lie but I went on Twitter and to me it seems that on Twitter there's loads of support for her and yay yay pro Megan but on YouTube maybe not so much I don't know I, I don't really know how to assess it but I'm experiencing a lot of love on Twitter no comments about the lies and just that she's put forward this paid right for for parents for parents and um, paid leave but the thing is that had already gone through she's jumping on someone's bandwagon just like a typical narcissist it's so narcissistic it's unreal like she's classic but to me she, i mean i think she's failing at it but twitter don't look like she's failing at it but overall are we actually gonna say that mega markle brought this bill forward that had already been done I mean, the, the people at the top who are not, you know, in, look, looking at media from where we are, surely they're laughing at her. But what is the overall picture? What's the stats? I don't know. If she is going for politics and president, this is, she's, she's doing really badly. It's, it's, your grammar's got to be right at, at the least, isn't it? So I don't, I don't really know where Meghan's going from, forward from here, but... You know, I tend to feel sorry for Harry, but I can also tell he's a little sport child, but it's just going to keep on popping. And recently, um, Will and Kate were doing some stuff in England and she came right up on top of them and I made the joke. I said, oh, look, they're busy. Megan's going to have to do something. And then I was like, whoa, really? She she really did something? Like, really? As much as I know how narcissists are, people still shock me. They just, they shock me. But yeah, so it was a retaliation to that and I suspect she will retaliate to anything else. But I find I could actually see Megan planning her own death. I'm not joking. I can imagine her planning her own death time, everything, and, and pre-writing what she wants to blurb and everything to be about it just to have a real impact. She does seem that crazy to me. She does seem very dead set on how she wants to be seen in history and so on and, you know, the outfits. And But I see right through it. You know, I'm a historian documenting in very casual terms, but let it be said, that woman is a narcissist. She is a complete narcissist and her intentions are not good, but at the same time, she fits the others. I just wonder why she's being left to her own devices to look so primitive at what she's doing. Because when she was bagging Harry, I know she had support from some uppers and those uppers did a damn good job. So what have they done now? Have they left her? And oh, I have to add, 
I've always been a fan of Diana. I love Diana. But through Meghan, I see another side of Diana. I'm starting to think that Harry married his mum. I'm starting to think that Diana was a narcissist too. Because when I look back at her interviews that, you know, singed on my heart back in the day, all I see is acting. All I, I see blatant acting. And I'm thinking, my goodness, did Megan just spot her own kind and is now living it? I mean, clearly Diana did a better job, but I too think Diana manipulated media and she seems like a disagreeable wife. I was watching some documentaries about her and as as much as he was um, cheating on her with um, What's Her Face, as much as he was doing that, Charles, you know, she was a 20-year-old woman in one of the best positions ever. She just seemed like a really whingy woman and really ungrateful and more into, just like Meghan, into her outfits and the portrayal of what she gives in media. And I also noticed that Charles, he seemed so much happy after her death. I mean, I do think her death was... There's a conspiracy to her death, no doubt. But, you know, he became a much more charming man or maybe returned to his charm of old. But the things seem lifted and I'm like my goodness they've got another spine in there they've got another one in there it's Megan Megan's the new Diana for them who's just causing just turmoil within the royal family I mean ultimately I don't care and it being Megan is kind of fun to watch especially her retaliations like you know I'm buttoning her coat to announce pregnancy the same time as another royal's wedding and so on these things about her make me laugh I, I've got no problem with her doing these things but at the same time when people see her not for what she is it's just like really I don't like to see narcissists get away but, um, yeah, I'm a little bit sus- suspicious of Diana now. I don't think that Diana was as innocent as I thought. I think she was a disagreeable modern woman. <laughs> I really do. I think she was a pain for Charles. And there was no submission within her, which should be within every woman, really, to live the best life during their best years so that they can have the rest of their life, you know. We're not, we're not men. We have a different story. But, hey...